Those skills you learned. <sighs> Hop on this elevator. You just we'll you just tell us above the shops. Once you've you know, all the Wonderbot pieces, bring them to me and we'll see if we can get them working. You know, if we weren't robots and he's just telling my he's just telling his son, you know, just go jump on top of this building, it'll be perfectly fine. Blah blah blah, yada yada yada. So these things are vending machines and you can buy you can buy saving, apparently. You can buy saves, you can buy Hey guys, what's going on? No, uh, 564 here. In this episode of Robots, welcome back to Robots. In this episode, we are going to take care of City Journey, the second level in the game, City Journey, and whatever it brings forth to us. There is something in this game that no matter how many times I play this game, it confounds me. But we'll get to that in a second. I, I'm going to turn my TV a little bit because it sounds a little low. Like, it really does. I'm not sitting too far away from it, and I don't want to drown out the TV volume, which... Or, turn, well, I can not drown it out, but have to, when I edit, I don't want to turn myself like down considerably low. So I'm going to turn up my TV a bit. Although now it sounds like it may be too loud for the audio when I... Okay, that sounds like it should be the perfect balance of levels for it. So, um, yeah, we're going to just break this. Yeah, that sounds perfect on my end. I don't know how it'll sound when I edit it. Well, after I'm done editing it, but who knows. Alright, so as you see... As you can see right here, this is a this has this looks the same as our little friend here, the Wonderbot. We can't do anything with that right now. That's what we have to go do and get the blueprints for, the Wonderbot. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to this dude who wants to talk to him Let about guess. that. You want to see Big Weld? Take some advice from a fellow inventor. Go home now. But hey, I like your little friend here. So tell you what, take this blueprint for an invention of mine. A remote control. You could use it to control your little friend. Find all the blueprint pieces and bring them to me. Head out that door and take a look. Dude, why do you sound so pessimistic, man? You, s you said we should just give up, and my god, you were like the most depressing person I have ever heard in my life. Um, but anyway, yeah, we have to go collect the, blue the blueprint pieces, so I'm going to go ahead, before we do this, I'm going to save our game real quick, see so we are robots file B, even though I should probably... And this game isn't too hard, and I was actually starting that file as a practice file. Also, I started that file because I was actually going to go just go through the game. I'm going to buy this now, but... I was just going to go through the game, right? And, uh... Oh, wow. Okay. I'll buy that later. And just, you know, practice through it myself, as we have to go through this door. But... For whatever reason, like the file on this game got deleted. And I was just like, "What? I didn't ever because I don't remember it ever deleting this file." So I was like, "You know, I was gonna go back and practice the levels of this game." And then the file says, "I'm like, um, I never remember. I didn't remember deleting the file." So that was just kind of weird for me when I started doing this. If you have turret enemies, they will shoot at you, and they will do all the enemies in this game. If I remember correctly, only do one damage, so you don't have much to worry about as far as enemies doing more damage than the other enemies, so yeah, you're fine with that. I'm only using my wrench because I need to build up some scrap, so I'm um, going to beat down some of these enemies, get some scrap. Oh, and one thing that's going to get really annoying is the Wonderbot and his quips. My god! Like, since he says them almost like every time after you kill something. His voice isn't that bad of a character voice, it's just his quips. Shut up! Now that's what I call a major malfunction. See? See, see, it's gonna already piss me off. It's already piss me off. That's, that's a bad sign. It's already pissed me off because I've already I mean, I played through this game like twice already, like all the way through, and uh, th his his quips are just insufferable. So I'm gonna use this right here to see if there's any blueprint pieces in this room because I always I'm gonna say this right now. If you see me, if you see me with 15 and not 16, you just see me running around like a chicken with the head cut off looking for the 16 piece. That's the problem I have with this level. I always miss the 16th piece, no matter how hard I try. I just can't. I just can't for the life of me find it. It's just like one of those mysteries of life as to why it I can't like find it. There's actually the one in this room. It's right over there. And no matter how much I use this to actually, you know, survey the room and such, I still have problems finding that 16th piece. Piece, and I don't want to use a walkthrough to find that 16th piece. I just want to find it, you know, by myself. So, we move that up there, and they place that thing jerkishly. But, um, we're gonna just hit the switch, which will actually bring that down again. Even though it looks like we turned it off, because light stopped blowing, but 
we're gonna go back and do all this crap again. They really placed that jerk. I realized I could have just shot that thing, but I didn't want to shoot it. Gonna hit triangle again to move the switch. My ears hurt. I don't know why they just do. Switch isn't working well for my headset either, so you know. I maybe move my headset a bit while I'm doing this because my ears are like. I don't know what's going on with them right now. They just feel weird and awkward. So. I haven't used a single piece of scrap since I wasted a crap ton over there. I'm stupid. I jumped at the wrong time. Alright, jump over there. Beat it up. Beat it up. Beat it up. Beat it up. Die. <laughs> Yay, I made it. And, um, so, you know. Yeah, I'm probably going to start recording my other let's play after I get, like, five episodes of this recorded. Just so I can have five episodes of this recorded. I've already got all the Ratchet and Clank finished. I've just got to edit it. There's another piece of the blueprint right there. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to be more... What's the word? Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna shoot this, because those electric boxes behind you, you can actually blow them up with something you get later, but and, uh, and avoid death a lot easier, but for the most part, you will die. They have shields. Oh, but everything in this game can be killed with a wrench. Doesn't matter how big it looks, or how strong it may seem, it can all be killed with a wrench. And that is kind of sad. Uh, alright, so, um, whoop, 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 alright, we're gonna just grind our way down here, or zip line, I mean, okay, there's no blueprint up there, because I was thinking, maybe I missed it up there, but I didn't, alright, ow, I'm gonna beat this guy, I'm gonna die, aren't I, I'm really trying to conserve my scrap, so I can actually, um, use it to buy stuff, and maybe full health, but uh, right now I'm, I'm doing a bad job of conserving it. I'm going to go ahead and beat this dude up. Right here. I'm going to try my best to find all of 16 of them. Yeah, there's one right there in the middle. I missed the tops of doom. Like seriously, what the F? Oh, never mind. There's, I don't need to buy full health. There's one right there. This fan does not blow you up. Contrary to what you believe, it does not blow you up at all. So I'm going to... Most annoying thing about this game, besides the weird final boss... But we'll get there when we get there. If the jumping in this game is uh, iffy, we're gonna stop here. I'm not gonna save because, well, just not going to. All right. So we've reached about seven minutes in the game. Why did I waste that on health? Really? I'm gonna buy the Electro Blast, which is something I'll show off in a second because we really can't use it in this room because there isn't much to do in this room. I, I'm gonna say that, but I bet if you the Electro Blast to get. Hold up. Let me check the map. Okay, there's one in here, and there's one in the other room? How do I get over there? I'll figure that out later. I bet that's the one I always miss, and then I'm like, Oh, uh, where is it? I'm just sitting there. Oh, uh, where is it? Let me see something. You, let me see you using the, try using the Electro Blast. Oh, the Electro Blast you use by holding square, and it pretty much just goes forward and back, and you just throw it and let go. And it stuns anything in the area that is electrical. So, you know, that's always nice. And it can be used later on in the game for platforming sections and just getting through electrical circuits that so they don't kill you. So um, I'm going to try to get through stuff. Also, here's how it can be used. And hold up. Uh, do I have it out? I, I don't have it out. Oh, I only have one. I forgot. I don't know why I don't have all. Why I don't have three. But you, I bought <laughs> like it, but I only got one out of three. What kind of BS is that? I should sue someone for false advertising. All right, there's one up there, and there's one all the way up there. So you can guess where go. You can guess where we're going. We're going over. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Camera, camera. I need you to work with me. Camera. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't want to have to try to have to uh, do stupid crap. We're gonna have to double jump over here. Ah! Oh, uh, this part was always a getting that piece was always a pain for me because. That's like the only way that I know that you can actually get over there. I've tried other ways and methods, but they didn't really work. So you have to like double jump over to this, land perfectly like that, and then not walk off like an idiot like I just did, and jump over there, and um, and just jump over on the other side. Oh, oh no, oh okay. <clears throat> Just on the other side of this, right? And uh, not fall to your death. And I did it perfectly the last time, and now, and I jumped off like an idiot. 
which is just really screwing me up now. I can't focus on that. I'm just focusing on my failure, apparently. So I'm just going to jump up here. Uh, this is going to take the entire episode, isn't it? Like I said, though, I'm going to try and keep these. I'm jumping too early. I'm w jumping way too early, aren't I? But <laughs> I'm going to try to keep these episodes in between 15 and 25 minutes in length overall together. So they won't be too... They'll be uh, quite lengthiness, but they won't be too long. But yeah, I should really get on the seeing this movie train for this movie. It seems like a good movie, except for that first scene creeped me the heck out with, like, the freaking build a baby. Like, you know the build a bears? Like, they had a build a baby set. It was just them building a baby. And they were robots, and it creeped me out. Because I actually saw that as a. I actually saw that part. I actually saw, only saw the beginning of the movie when I was younger, so, you know, the whole building a baby thing was like, oh, oh, um. Uh, what? I don't. I don't. I don't know what to do. Mommy, help me. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna jump back over here and get back on doing our thing. And, um, hopefully we get reimbursed. I don't know why I just said we hopefully we get reimbursed. But, oh, yeah, the main character, if you couldn't, the main character's dad, if you couldn't tell from that early scene, um, do I have to... Is there a door behind there? That's probably how we get into that other room, isn't it? I probably, I feel so stupid. Ow. I'm gonna shoot you now, you no, jerk. So I'm gonna jump over here. Oh yeah, this is how you get over there, but that doesn't... It. I remember getting all the pieces in here, but that is, I always had a piece missing. I don't I don't know why. I don't even know if that'll hurt me or not if I walk in the fumes or if that's just there for effect. And I don't plan on finding out if I walk in the... Okay, it'll hurt me. I didn't plan on... Oh, 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 oh! My burning... I'm not bender, bending Rodriguez. Eto? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is this room with the spinny platforms. Did I did I already get it? Did seriously did I did I already get it? Like I think I already got it. I totally did. Okay, so and there's another one in the room after this. So oh 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 oh. I hate spinning platforms. So you know. That's always a plus if a game has them in there. I hate them. So it's always a plus towards the I don't I won't like this game a lot. I mean I'll still like the game. But spinning platforms always disorient me a lot. Because I don't really like them too much, so yeah. <clears throat> We're reaching we are at twelve minutes. Oh uh, yeah. I have to there's actually I don't remember how many in this room, but there's I know there's one back here. Ow. I'm gonna die, aren't I? And I hope if I die, I'll just respawn in the room. I, I should I should have gone back and gotten the, uh, the, uh, the health that was at the bottom of that room, but I was afraid I was gonna die from the top thing. Hitting me, like, twice. But now I'm afraid I'm gonna die in general. And how we get past this is we have to jump down here, run all the way across the room, like, literally, we have to run all the way across the room. Hit this! <coughs> Stomp pad! Why, is, why do we have to run all the way across the freaking room for? That doesn't make any sense to me. This is actually kind of kind of annoying. This platforming bit here. We've got 10 out of 16. Oh! Oh no. Oh, okay, health, health. I, oh, thank God, I need you. I need you, health. I love you. But yeah, like I said, this game is actually a really good, decent platform. What am I doing? I don't have to jump up there anymore. I just have to run across here. Not run at the wrong time and get blasted by lasers. Jump. Uh, to jump. <laughs> I almost barely didn't make that. And jump. Okay, so that takes care of all of the ones in here. I, I'm pretty sure that takes care of all of them. Map? Are there any in here? Oh yeah, so you can see your objective on the map. So no, there's not anything else left in here. Alright, so um, I'm gonna beat up these dudes. Right into anus. Is, uh, shut up, you. Shut up, you. So we have five more left to collect, and I have a feeling I'm gonna, gonna like not collect. I'm gonna collect four and just like, what? If I collect all five the first time this, on this, on this, this will be the first. If I do that, I'll be surprised. This will be the first time I actually collect all five of them at, in one time. If I, like all the other five at one time, if I were to collect all five, I'd be really shocked and surprised by that. It would just blow my freaking mind. No, I'm, I'm joking. It wouldn't blow my mind, but um. 
we're gonna there's one over there there's one inside the room that we have to go in but uh yeah just gonna jump over here and jump right up here almost kill ourselves almost killing yourself is important to being a hero jumping all the up here's watch that jump and fall we are at 14 minutes so far I'm just gonna time note this apparently almost at 15 minutes if we don't get all the pieces by the time we reach 25 then I'll just stop oh yeah we have to before we fix that I'm gonna beat these robots up you are so it's all really gonna depend on how long the, how long the episodes are always gonna depend on what I'm doing in the episode like this episode maybe is probably gonna be like 20 plus minutes because of what I'm doing in right now although a lot of people from what I've seen on a lot of other bigger let's players channels some people a lot of people seem to like the longer episodes there's one in there that's probably the one I keep always forgetting somehow or maybe I don't I don't I don't know we'll have to see and if it is the real question is it seems like it's out in the middle of nowhere how would I get to that like wh are they just trying to get me killed or something so we're gonna save real quick cuz I do plan on in if I do end this off here, then um yeah, gonna go ahead and end with a save. Gonna go back, there's nothing I wanna buy right now. Although I could buy the full health, but I really, I don't really need it. Or maybe give me like twenty five maybe? Hmm. I don't know. I think the number varies. I bet that is the one I always miss. But anyway <clears throat> it probably is, yeah, it is the one I always miss, isn't it? It totally is. So I think the rest of them we will find in this episode. I think we'll find the rest of them. Hopefully, I hopefully didn't miss any. I hopefully found the one that I always miss. Like no matter what. If not, I'm gonna be a little sad and be a little, be a little depressed and cry inside, cry a little. But whatever, we'll see. All right. So um. Uh, I, oh yeah, I put the break through this. Break through the glass. I just broke through the glass. I'm pretty sure there's another way to, to get in here. We could have like taking the same way in here, right? I'm just saying. I mean, what the F? How did I miss? Didn't shut up, Winterbot. Alright, check them out. There's a gold piece of gold scrap. Oh yeah, we need gold scrap for the taxi. There's the 14th one. So yes, I found them all. Freaking yes, I know where the last three are. I feel happy now because I don't have to go through all this crap. We're gonna go up here. We have to go around this room and collect the gold scrap, but while we're doing this, we have to go ahead and fix stuff. So, try and glue it up, baby. I hope you guys will enjoy this let's play of this game because I really enjoy this game and it's from a movie that I've always that I've always wanted to go see. I've actually wanted to go see this movie when it came out. The story of how I got this game is actually kind of weird. Well, actually it's not really weird. It's just kind of what? I guess my dad thought I was like when I was younger and I was staying with my dad at the time because my mother was working in, well, was overseas because I'm a military brat but, and everything. But um, my mother was overseas and everything, so um, I didn't get now to. Is a malfunction. I didn't have my mother. So yeah, I was, hang, I was staying with my dad, who was also in the military, but he wasn't, like, overseas or anything at the time in Kuwait or uh, Iraq or wherever she, I mean, he would have been at because my mother was in Kuwait. But anyway. I guess he thought I would like this game, and I actually did like this game. I probably this is probably the first game that I had on the PS2 that when I was younger that I just went ahead and that I just beat with no real problems on it. In it, like I really just sat around and played this game all the time because I really like this game. The count, and I've always wanted to see the movie. And like, cause this game actually came with movie tickets, but we never turned them in. <laughs> or okay, I think we did, but I didn't go. Like, I think my dad and my little sister went, because there were only, like, two tickets in there, and... Yeah, I think my dad and my little sister went, and I never got to go see this movie. Although, it was on TV about a week ago, but I was like, eh. I was just like, meh, because I didn't really want to see it anymore. But a movie, a good movie involving robots, if you have yet to see it, is The Iron Giant. That is one of my... That is, like, my favorite movie of all time. It is a great movie. It is timeless. It, it'll never get old, you guys. If you've never seen The Iron Giant, go see it. I recommend it to you. It's a really good movie. It's also directed. It's directed by the guy who made The Incredibles and um, my nose is all stuffy. That's not a movie, but um, Ratatouille in the in The Incredibles. His name is Brad Bird. It's a really oh yeah, he's not a bad guy. 
the, now we get to call the Robo Taxi. In fact, in Clink, we had the. So, you want a taxi? In, Rant in Ratchet and Clank, we had the no, Robo, we had the Space Taxi, and in this episode, in this series, we have the Space Taxi. So, uh, I mean, the, we, had, we had the Space Taxi in Ratchet and Clank, and we, had the, we had the Robo Taxi. So, um, yeah, we're gonna take the Robo, we took the Robo Taxi to this place over here, which, this leads us back into the same area we were just in. Oh yeah, this leads us back to the beginning, cool. So, um... Now we're gonna go to the other way we didn't go before, which has the last two pieces. I'm so glad I didn't screw this up in this Let's Play and have to go and do these other crap. So um, we're gonna go ahead and go over here into this area, and the last two are in this room. I bet you'll you'll never guess where they're at. They're not over this pit of battery acid, I'm assuming. But anyway, I'm gonna conserve my scrap. But yeah. So and the other one is right over there. So we have gotten we have gotten 15 out of 16 pieces. We are almost there on the 16 pieces. We're just gonna hit this stump pad right here. Like he just homed in on that crap. Like he was just that's awesome. He, that he has a homing attack or a homing stumper. It just feels like my nose is stuffy. Why is my nose stuffy? Nose? Why are you stuffy? Why are you stuffy nose? Why are you no be clear? I need I need some like nasal spray right now, man. It's retarded. And we have gotten all of the pieces, and we can go back now. I used to have trouble with that all the time. It's, and I feel so stupid now. It's all because I didn't go get that one freaking piece. That makes me feel. That makes me feel sad. That is, this all could have been avoided if I went to go get that one stupid piece. Like seriously, that's kind of. That's kind of. That's that's irritating. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna go back. Seriously, no, why are you all stuffy? And we're gonna just jump and abandon every sense of caution we have because we're robots. We won't we won't damage ourselves from fall damage. I really don't think you'll get hurt from fall damage in this game. Like, I've fallen really far from high up places and never got damaged. So, um, we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning area of this level. Get the part from this guy. Oh, good work found all the pieces. Seriously, well, do you sound really, control. really pissed or that sad? There? That's a control pad. Whenever you see one, stand on it, and you can control your little friend by pressing the action button. I suggest you make use of that pad and <laughs> climb over to that platform and activate that lever. It should roll out the bridge. Oh, yes. Now, time for the Wonderbot. We still don't have that meter. That meter does not control the Wonderbot. The Wonderbot controls are R2 and L2 go up. I mean, yeah, R2 and L2. R2 and R1 go up, and X hits to boost, and you use with the analog tip. <coughs> I think we're getting towards the end of this chapter. If we are not, then um, I'm gonna have to end this off soon because we're reaching 22 minutes long. Reaching 22 minutes, I'm gonna beat up this real quick. But yeah, I think we're almost done with this chapter now. These chapters aren't really too long. They're about half an hour long each, close to at least. And we're going to hit the taxi. Okay, yeah, we are done here. I think there's a cutscene coming up, so we're just going to save here. And... Woo! City journey save right here. Would you like to overwrite the save file? Yes, I would. And I think there's a cutscene coming up, and yeah. If you like this video, if you want to click over to the previous episode, click on the arrow on the left side of the screen. And click. if you want to go to the next episode, click on the right arrow. If you want to go to the playlist, click on the video at the bottom of the screen. So, peace out, guys. It took Rodney some time to get adjusted to big city life. Fresh off the train from a small town, he was faced with a few challenges at first, but nothing he couldn't handle. Oh!